everybody welcome back to the channel in the last video you saw me working on the carpet the seats getting everything together on the interior but now before i could take the next step i need to focus on the doors so in this video i will get started on getting the windows back into the doors getting the doors on the car making sure the motors are still working making those windows go up and down i even bought a couple of special parts for it so you'll see that toward the end of the video thanks for watching liking sharing subscribing so it's been a good while since I've seen these windows and they've uh, they've been in storage in the basement for a while. So I had to clean them up, get everything looking right and tight before it goes right back into the car. Um, I'm really starting to see the car come back together. So it's pretty exciting to put on some of these larger pieces and have it looking like, having, look, having it look like a real Grand National again. So, you see me setting in the window in there. There's the retaining nuts that I have to go in to get it back on the track. And after that, it's just wiring up the motors, making sure that the lock mechanisms and all of that are working. Um, there's a few felt pieces that are riding on the window to make sure things stay um, going in the right direction. And all of it is uh, tedious, but thankfully, I, I recall how all of it goes together. So um, it's pretty easy and self-explanatory to get it going. Here we go with the motors, just making sure everything goes up and down and it passes the test. If you're looking for a good video to check out on the windows, um, G-Body Garage is a really, really good resource. Um, if there's anything that I would have forgotten on my windows, I would have checked out one of his videos. He goes into really great detail. Um, you can even pause it and take a look at how all of the brackets go in. So this is usually a two person job, but uh, my wife wasn't around. So I'm just going to uh, hang the door up on it. And what you don't see on the bottom, there are two jacks that have like either carpet or wood on top of them so I can make sure that I don't scratch them up. And that way I just rest it on there, try to line up the hinge and get a few bolts started. You have to be careful that you don't cross thread anything, but as everything comes in together, you can just align the door perfectly to, uh, to get those bolts started. I believe it's uh, either an old, I believe it's an 11 millimeter that'll that'll get that bolt going 10 or 11 one or the other so once the door is able to be hung on its own you know you'll just pop it in there and then you'll work that uh you'll work those bolts back and forth until you can get it just right now learn from my mistakes if i were doing this again i would not put defenders on until the door is on um, that just makes sure that I can get, I can concentrate on one gap and focus on the front gap of the door with the fender. So passenger side is in and now I got some wheels. So I found some wheels on Facebook Marketplace, 400 bucks out in Maryland. So I met a really, really, really cool dude and one funny part about this, I'll tell you all in a minute. So taking a close look at these wheels, you can see something's wrong. <laughs> I was able to get the front two off on both sides, no problem, but if you take a close look at the rear, you'll see right there that I have broken lug nuts on both sides. So showing you what it looks like, what came off, were these right here. So the rest of the lug nut is broken off in the wheel and it's to a point where I can't get an extractor on there very easily. I can't remove what the damaged part that's left. So we're going to drill it out. So the plan is drill out the center of this and get it down to a point where the drill bit will actually take off the remaining part of the nut. 
And once that's done, I can get both of those rear wheels off. I can get them to look like that. And one step closer to getting the exterior together. So I'll work on that. I'll bring the door upstairs. We'll get that installed. Maybe even get the hood installed too. We are rocking and rolling. I'm still waiting on interior bits to use those door panels. But in the meantime, who says we can't get the body looking right? So let's keep it up. All right, so funny story about these wheels. When I met this guy, he was telling me that he was looking for a Grand National and he asked me how much I would sell mine for. So I gave him the, I really don't want to sell it price. And we got into a little bit of um, a backstory about how I got my Grand National and he was trying to get the same car as I was. So as a reminder, folks, I bought my Grand National for $2,500 on Facebook Marketplace mm, last December. And funny enough, um, he, he was trying to get it as well and it didn't work out. Thankfully, I was the first person who responded to the ad. So um, the seller gave me, gave me an opportunity to pick it up. So that's, uh, that's how I landed it. So it's just funny to run into somebody who was also vying for the same car. Um, but as you can see, I couldn't get those rear wheels on. So I'll work on that maybe in the next video. I did have a, um, a broken piece on that, on that glass that you saw me using some glue with and it held really well. So no concerns about longevity's sake, but just getting everything cleaned up and getting, getting it back on there. Um, I reused the existing door handles, but new locks all the way around. With the window working, I'm becoming a pro in the game at this. I used some painter's tape just to make sure I don't scratch the edges of the doors. I don't want to chip or scratch them. And using those wood blocks, using that carpet to stand the door up and make sure that, you know, I don't want to damage the paint in any way. This one went in a lot smoother than the last. So uh, before I knew it, both doors were on and front two wheels are on. So I did get some, some parts for the upholstery and I do wanna show you what that's looking like right now. So check this out. Thanks for watching everybody. In the next video, I start working on the transmission, I get the math translator installed, and I even get it out on the road. So, see you in the next one.